All right, now I have my uh, seat bases here. Uh, put them next to each other. And unfortunately, they don't match. So I can't just send this one for sandblasting um, and use it. If you follow, this is my original here. If you follow, and you see there it has a little set in it, and over there it has another little set in it. And if we come across to this one, it's perfectly straight across there. Um, and also the, the, the way uh, the frame underneath uh, that corner there, and then if we come across to this one, you can see there are differences. Um, and uh, yeah, the front rail here, you see there's like three rails there. Here there's really only two, granted the other one is there, but it's, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not going to work, unfortunately. Um, that's not the supplier's fault. That's, you know, he, he sent me what I asked for and that was a Mark II seat and this is a Mark II seat. Um, I guess Jaguar decided to change it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal the springs out of here. Not every one of them. Um, I'm going to pick the best ones I can find and uh, replace the broken ones over here. Now you see all these little pieces of tape. They're all indicating broken springs. And uh, I've replaced one already. But what I'm now going to do is I'll show you how I do it. And then you can decide whether you think that's a good way to do it or... That's a stupid idea. Why did you do it like that, you prick? Um, so uh, we will see. And also, looking at this seat here, this is a lot thicker than this. Now, okay, granted, you know, springs are weak, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, unfortunately, it ain't going to cut the mustard. So I'm going to have to uh, to adapt. It doesn't matter. Um, I mean, what I paid for it was not an absolute fortune. I can take the springs off of here that I need. Um, and then, <laughs> hey, if somebody else is doing the same thing, I can uh, sell them this base for a few bucks. Um, and if not, no big deal. So uh, now let me get on and uh, get this turned around so that I can take the, uh, the, the spring off. Oh, what's that label there on the original seat? What does it say? Huh. Seat right hand. Well, right hand is uh, on an American car is passenger, and on an English car it's de rather. All right. So let me uh, get the camera set up. Let me spin this around so that I can get to the where the broken springs are. As you can see, most of them are at the back. So I'll spin that around, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get a few springs replaced, and uh, hopefully that will help it to. Come back to life before it's sent away for powder coating. And hopefully I'll be doing that in the uh, early part of the new year. i just got to wait for... Uh, there's a finance thing going on. And uh, once I've got that sorted out, I should be able to get stuck into this. All right, let me get set up. Okay. Um, <laughs> as I mentioned, I'm going to try and show you guys how to get these springs out. Now... This is not something I've done before. So if I fuck it up, don't be surprised. This spring here is broken. It curls right down to here, that broken edge there. So we need to undo this, undo that, and take it out. Also, you need to undo the loops at both ends. So let's uh, see how we're gonna go about this. First, let's try with this. These <laughs> Sorry guys <laughs> I got my tripod in the wrong position Hang on Oh dear <laughs> I used to call me tripod at school But uh, <coughs> for a different reason <laughs> No it, it keeps wanting to fall over Why do you want to keep falling over? Sorry guys, don't go, don't go away. No, that's no good, that's no good. How about there? How about that position? No, that's no good. Yeah, it's because I'm using this kind of strange setup on the on the tripod. Um, it, it rather wants to fall over, so 
Okay. We'll try again, shall we? Oh, hang on, you're a bit crooked now. Meep, meep, meep. Hopefully, okay, hopefully there. Now this this is quite soft. This comes undone quite easily. But, of course, you want to keep hold of it because you've got to put it back on. And you're going to cut yourself. You can put money on it. It always happens, doesn't it? Huh? Murphy's Law. Okay, now do note that with these springs, they're underneath this flat edge. So you want to make sure when you tuck the new spring in um, that you put it back in the right place. So let's unwind that from there. And then, well, as this is the broken one, what I want to do is pry on the broken one and bend that open because I don't care about it anymore. And there it is. That's that piece out. One piece out, piece off. Again, the broken piece. And let's get this off. And, and they, I don't know if they've used different uh, retainers, but you know, they just bend them round and the other ones, they bend flat, I guess. I guess they're just, well, they're just pieces of metal, aren't they? So there we go. Let's open that up, ready for installation. And again, let's unhook that. Ooh. And get hold of. Watch these ends, by the way. They're fucking sharp. That's why I say you're going to end up bleeding. And now, I'm not sure if these are the best tools to do this job, but it works. Okay. And there we go. We just unhook it. And that is the other broken piece. In fact, I think there might even be a piece missing there. All right, so now what I've got to do is go to the other um, seat base and I'll go for the same position and choose the same spring. So uh, I won't show you me taking that one off, but I'll show you me putting it on here. All right, now the fun bit is to get it back in, getting the new one in. And I want to make sure that I capture these two um, spring coils here um i don't think i need to capture that one although looking at these they have as well so i think i want to say i'm going to try and capture it i'm not sure if i can capture that much maybe i can so the way i've figure out that what it works is you just loop it and twist it oops i missed it so I loop through there, through there, through there, and just wind it on down. And I'm going to wind it through there and through there. And then I'm going to hook it on here. So where's my screwdriver? Let me see if I can get this open enough. Get it through here. And those upholsterers that are out there watching me going, oh, for Christ's sake, he's doing that so wrong. Yep, sorry, guys. I'm doing the best I can. And that may not be perfection. But let us see. Let us see if it works, really. That's the, the key, isn't it? Does it work? Okay, so I've captured that, I've captured that, I've captured that, I've captured that. Now all I want to do is get it over here. On that loop there, oh, should have opened that up first, shouldn't I? Give me a second. Let me get my screwdriver in there. Pry that open. See if I can get that to go in there nice and easy. Nice and easy does it. Okay. Now... Squeeze that up. I'm sorry if I'm getting in the way of your view, but obviously I need to see what I'm doing. And then you can see, pff, go away bug, and you can see the end result. God, there's bugs and dust and crap everywhere. 
I didn't think my family had followed me here. <laughs> Just want to get that tighter. I don't like the way it's out there. There we go. That's not bad. All right, now I need the, the two clips. I need the top one. Remembering to tuck it underneath. As I said, this metal is just so easy and soft. That's that one done. All right, now let's see, how can I hook the bottom one? Yep, that's how I can do it. And get that on there. You see guys, anything is possible. You don't have to pay someone to do it. You know, when it's something like this, it's it's not gonna be seen, it's just gonna be functional. You know, if this was bodywork, yeah, totally different. You really need to know your shit, which is why I'm not doing the body of my Mark II. I did some of it, but none of the, none of the stuff that shows. That's why it's in a body shop right now. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. Not pretty, but now I've got some strength back in it. Now I'll move on to this one, and then that one, and that one, and that one, blah, 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 blah. and I will replace all the broken ones, one at a time. So, uh, I hope that is of interest to you. Um, I guess I can show you when it's all done, but it's probably not worth it, to be honest. And what I'm, I'm going to do once I've completed replacing all of these broken springs, I'm going to go around and just kind of pinch all these things up. You know, you see this, this one here is... Actually, you probably can't see it because... No, you can't see it. Sorry, camera's not in the right place. Um, but these metal clips on the edge here, you know, I'm just... Go around and pinch them down, make sure they're nice and tight. You know, our good old German friend, good and tight. <laughs> and talking of German friends, Udo, one of my subscribers in uh, in Germany, always sends me nice comments. Um... <laughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> I'm having tripod trouble. That bloody thing just came unstuck and dumped itself. Oh dear. As I was saying, I, I have a, a subscriber. His name is Udo. Uh, he's in Germany, and he always sends me nice compliments. He he's, uh, seems like a really nice guy. Uh, I've never met him, of course, because he's in Germany and I'm in uh, America. Um, although I did live in Germany for a while. In fact, quite a while uh, when I was at the European Space Agency. However, I uh, never got to meet him. How and um, What I'm getting at is it's, it's nice on YouTube. You, you kind of build these friendships with people that you've never met. I have a number of channels that I subscribe to and I, you know, I make comments on their videos, sometimes funny, sometimes helpful, sometimes perhaps not so helpful. So the comments are always worth it, guys. You know, um, even if you just say, hey, great video, you know, um, we make these, well, some make them for a business. I don't. My, this, this is for fun. This is for shits and giggles. I enjoy making it. Hopefully you enjoy watching the videos. Well, I, I guess if you don't enjoy it, you wouldn't watch them. Um, uh, but it's nice to get comments from people because then you know they've actually watched your video. So I, I won't even bother finishing off with the usual like, comment, subscribe. Oh, damn, I did it. Ah. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. It's James May's fault. Actually, no, it's Lucy's fault because she makes James May say it. Um... That's enough for now. Uh, you, you got my, my contact information, you know, gstargarage at gmail.com. Um, obviously, you know, it's great if, if some of you would uh, like to donate. That That is appreciated, and a few people have donated. And I'm saving up now to buy myself a decent microphone and uh, perhaps a decent tripod as well. <laughs> and uh, uh, my friend in Church House Classics, he mentions, you know, buy me a beer. Um but you don't have to. It's just nice. It's, it means you appreciate what we're doing. And we, we like that. 
and I, I, I must admit, I do like it. And I, I love reading the comments and getting the emails. So I'm going to wrap this one up now. Um, now, as my usual, I'm going to have to get some T-shirts with this put on. Now get out there and do some shit. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should say, you know, get out in the garage and do some shit. Otherwise, uh, it will be misinterpreted, won't it? Okay, guys, girls, love you all. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Bye for now. Catch you probably next year. <laughs>